So if you don't have Hyper-V because you don't have Windows 10 Pro, then we're going to be working with Oracle VirtualBox. And there's a couple of others, but this is what I'm going to take you through right now. So this is VirtualBox. Uh, you can download it from I'm just Google VirtualBox download. You'll find it. Uh, it's free software. Um, it is going to, like Hyper-V, you're going to want virtualization extensions enabled in your BIOS and all that fun stuff. Um, so let's talk about how to create a virtual machine here. So, and I'm going to, I may run into a couple of issues because I still have Hyper-V on my system. and The two of them don't like to get along. So if I run into one of those, I'll just let you know what it is. So let's click on new and here's our new virtual machine. So we're going to set the name for it and this is going to be a test VM. All right, so the machine type. Now, this right here, you can set Windows, Linux, BSD, OS2, Mac OS X, whatever. And then for each one, you can set the version. Now, this right here does not install the operating system. By the way, you'll notice I have only 32-bit versions here available. You should have 64-bit versions. What's happening is I have Hyper-V, and I said the two don't like to play well together. So VirtualBox is only letting me do 32-bit versions, and that's fine. We're not going to go through the whole thing. This does not install the operating system, though. What this does is this um, sets some... Um, we're working in the uh, guided mode here instead of the expert mode. So this sets some default settings for us. So I'm going to click next. Here's my recommended amount of memory. I can adjust that up or down. Um, I can create a virtual hard disk or use an existing virtual hard disk. Please note you can only use existing virtual hard disks that were created using a uh, virtual box. You cannot use a Hyper-V virtual hard disk here. Recommended size is 50 gigabytes. That's fine. Uh, virtual hard disk type now will actually create this is an old uh, Hyper-V format we can create any one of these so this is old Hyper-V format this is um, ver uh, VMware format there we go this is the native one so we're just going to stick with that and click next how do we want to store it dynamically allocated is going to be what we want most of the time uh, you'll probably never use fixed size for one that you're doing for a class homework project. The location, the name, the size, all of this, we click create. And we have a test VM just like that. To view the settings of it, you can just click with it selected over here. You can click on your settings. And then it will show you all of the settings. And the one I want to look at here is the network adapter. So in Hyper-V, you had to create a virtual switch. Here you don't. So we have Enable Network Adapter, and it defaults to NAT. And that is going to be what you want most of the time if you want to get out to the network. If Get out to your physical network and to the Internet and beyond. If you don't, you want to change that to Internal Network. Now, it's not really going to hurt if you leave it as NAT. Um, and then there's a bunch of advanced settings that, honestly, we're not going to worry about. So just think here, if I leave it at NAT, everything will be fine. This machine will be able to get out to the Internet. If I don't want it to get out to the Internet, let me change it to internal. And then that will stop that process and it won't get out. Okay, so that was a guided mode. Let's do another one using expert mode. So I'm going to create a new VM. And now I'm going to click this little button down here for expert mode. And I'm going to set the name as expert demo. Now I still have the same thing. Give me the operating system. This time let's do a Linux 32-bit Ubuntu. Yep, that sounds good. So same thing here. Adjust my memory size. Create my virtual hard disk. Use an existing virtual hard disk if I want. And create. And then... Create virtual hard disk, set the type, dynamically allocated. Yep, that's good. And there we go. So basically the same things. It just gives it to you in two shots rather than in uh, multiple different pages as you work through it. Okay, to open up a VM, you would basically click Start. Notice it's currently powered off. It came up on my other screen so I'll move it over here 
Yes, I know. That's because I stopped you. Let's see. It's probably going to open up on my other screen again. Ah, no, we did it this time. Okay. Failed to open session. By the way, the reason it's failing to open, if I click on my details, uh, raw power mode is unavailable, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's that Hyper-V issue. Also, one other thing you need to know about this. When we set those up, notice we did not set the boot disk. So let me go to my settings, and for my storage, doo -doo -doo, here we go, storage. For my CD drive, here I have to manually set what I want. So I can set it to an optical drive, or this is my optical drive. I can set the SATA over here. I can choose the virtual optical disk file. And this is going to be the IS, or ISO file. So let me go back to my C drive, installs, Windows 10, and let's use that Windows 10. And now I have a valid uh, ISO file mounted as a CD. So notice it doesn't ask you. You have to go manually set that and then not be running Hyper-V while you're trying to do the same thing. So uh, hopefully that will give you enough with VirtualBox to start working with creating your VMs for your uh, homework assignments. Remember, uh, use one or the other, VirtualBox or Hyper-V, not both. Otherwise, you're going to run into issues like this.